an undershot and short off the rim and it's tracked down by Addison. Oh, good look at move there by Boss Liu. Addison to the paint and good, our first bucket, luckily and short. Lister again with the defense in the paint. Addison in the lane, gets it to fall. Deflected, stolen by Lister. Lister up the floor, inside a bumper for Walter. Bat it around and tracked down by Fields. Fields on the left wing, going inside past Hawkins and good. Bumper for Walter, bat it around and tracked down by Fields. Fields on the left wing, going inside past Hawkins and good. Bumper for Walter, bat it around and tracked down by Fields. Fields on the left wing, going inside past Hawkins and good. Inside, Boss Leo, the shot is short. Quick outlet by the Lions. Three on two, pass inside, basket good for a late hook inside. Boss Leo, the shot is short. Quick outlet by the Lions. Three on two, pass inside, basket good for a late inside. Boss Leo, the shot is short. Quick outlet by the Lions. Three on two, pass inside, basket good for a late. on the shot clock. Madison steps in. Couple dribbles, steps, long jumper on the way and counted. Now reset. Intercepted by Fields. Fields staying inside. Going to the lane and counted. Second personal for off on time. Clippers with three fouls. Signs Zorder. Long shot. Zorder finds Addison. Cross court. Covers. Inside pass to Lister, one on one and good. Evanovich. Edison again, inside, finds Zoder. She turns, spins, jumper, counting. Second shot short. Now Fields. Left side of the floor, now Terry. Baseline jumper and good for Terry. Now Fields, 13 on the shot clock. Addison steps in, couple dribbles, steps, long jumper on the way, and counted! Finds Zoder, finds Addison, lost court, field recovers. Inside pass to Lister, one on one, and good! Second personal, for off on time. Clippers with three fouls. Finds Zoder, long shot. Now Terry. Inside. One more pass, count it for us. So, Leon, after coming off the bench in each of the first nine games, uh, what, if anything, changed with your mindset when Coach told you that you're starting tonight? Um, I pretty much had the same mindset, just coming in strong, doing whatever I need to do to get the team, whether that's points, rebounds, whatever. Yeah. So how do you put into words uh, the performance he just turned in? <laughs> 18 points, 14 rebounds, 10 blocks as well as uh, four steals, uh, a triple-double in an NCAA tournament game. What's that feeling? Um, honestly, I had no clue. Yeah. I was just taking it play-by-play. Play. Um, everyone played pretty well. We were all excited coming into the tournament. It was the first time, so we were just excited, and it was good. Good, good. What is it about that allows about you that allows you to elevate your game in, in the postseason? It seems like uh, you have a, a little uh, – Liking of the the spotlight. This is your second consecutive, at least double double. You had one of the championship game against Dominican. Uh, what's it like playing on the big stage like that? Um, it's fun. I mean, every player like loves playing for games like this, championship games, tournaments. So it's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. And uh, how are you uh, able to consistently get inside tonight against uh, Concordia's interior defense? Um, well, we had a height advantage, so we we're just trying to work that and do everything that we can to do to get the win. Mm -hmm. And how, was, how important was it to get off to the fast start tonight in a, a winner-go-home situation? It was very important, especially coming off our first loss in the championship game. We just wanted to start strong so we could keep it going for the rest of the game. Yeah. And uh, what are you expecting against uh, a Damon team uh, tomorrow in the semifinals, number two seed? Um, we're definitely going to have to come more focused, work hard, 
and just really take a play by play and hopefully we'll advance. Okay. Well, if you have a congratulations. Great game by you, Leanna. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. All right. Coach Parasic, congratulations on the win. Uh, making her first start of the season. How do you describe what you saw from Leanna Lister tonight? 18 points, 14 rebounds, 10 blocks to register a triple double, which may be the first triple double in postseason history in the CACC. Yeah, I think Leanna is very um, sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? She, she really doesn't like to brag about anything. And um, she's just a really kind of quiet player that just does anything that um, we need her to do. And it's so unassuming. You know, she's so unassuming all the time, but she's, she's really an amazing, amazing young player. Mm -hmm. uh, how difficult is it to do what GCU just accomplished, beating a team three times in one season, including twice in the postseason? I think the most difficult, yes, everybody always says it's really difficult to beat the team um, three times in a row, but um, um, the biggest obstacles that we've had so far, are like really injuries that we've had. And so we are coming here with really just eight players. Really only six have gotten any you know, major minutes, um, but I was really proud of the team. They, they did a great job. They always say that the first game is the most difficult one, and they just say survive and advance, mm -hmm. and you always hear that about postseason play, and I think this was really, really a great start. Mm -hmm. uh, did the Lions use a game plan similar to the first two meetings tonight? No, we actually, no. <laughs> we, did, we did not. We Obviously, we were really a, a much stronger team. We really wanted to pressure. Mm -hmm. We like to play up-tempo. And obviously with only six players available to really play, uh, we couldn't do that. So we would really, really want to press. Mm -hmm. That's probably the biggest thing. Um, and it's kind of disappointing going into this. And we were one of the really teams that played up-tempo and we were in best shape. And then all the shutdowns happened. And again, this is not really to complain because everybody has gone through this. So we, what we try to do is really try to take away Marigona, Basilou's, um, you know, three-point shooting. Uh, and that's why we're kind of like in a little bit of a tag not, you know, a box and one, which would have put us in the zone, but we're just all in man, but trying to deny her the ball as much as possible. Now, you touched on a little bit about the, uh, the short bench, uh, just eight healthy players, uh, you know, affecting you down the stretch. Um, how did that affect you going down the stretch well, it was in the fourth quarter there? I mean, it yeah. seemed like you were a little, a little gassed. Yeah, it was, it was a yeah. little scary. But honestly, I think it was the nerves mostly, like because a couple of players did not really look like themselves, mm -hmm. you know, especially Hannah Trine's daughter. It seemed like really she puts too much pressure on herself. Sure. I mean, honestly, for me, I feel like they just need to go out there and have fun. Mm -hmm. Fun is still the most important thing. And she just puts so much pressure on herself. She's a perfectionist. Um, so it was, uh, you know, it was it was a little scary when both Tian, especially Tian, because we don't have a backup point guard, got four fouls. That mm -hmm. was probably the scariest part of it. Right. And Anissa Fields also got four so getting into foul trouble, so we had to stay in the zone a little bit more than we would like. Mm -hmm. I actually hate zone, but, you know, we had to do it, and they pulled it out. Okay. And uh, coming off your first loss of the season last weekend and playing with the shortened bench tonight, how pleased are you with your, your team's performance? Oh, this is a great start. This is a great start. I'm so glad that it came through towards the end. I mean, they're really together. You know, that's one thing that we really have, great team chemistry, great team atmosphere, great team culture. And I wish the other players that were injured were actually here because um, I know they're all rooting for us. Sure. And uh, what are you expecting from a second-seeded Damon squad tomorrow night? You know, we really have not had the chance to look at much of uh, their play. I mean, um, I don't know. It's, it's, I think that, I mean, it's all, they're always, traditionally, they're a really good team, mm -hmm. you know. So, but we just, you know, got to focus on ourselves and see if we could play a little bit better because we will need to play maybe even more than a little bit better, much better to, to get a win against them. Well, thanks. Congratulations on the big You're win. welcome. All You're right. welcome. Thanks.